everyone welcome to the wellington witch or welcome back if you're a subscriber my name's laurie and here is your two weekly reading um from the 20th of july to the 2nd of august so there's only two days at the end of the two week period so we'll just have a little bit of a touch base in the beginning of the august month there but this is mainly for the end of july i'm going to be using the everyday witch tarot along with some runes and i will also be doing um some other cards moonology cards or whether that be angel cards or whatever that may be yeah i'm gonna just go with the flow on this one i'll also be looking at how the new moon in cancer on the 19th or 20th of july depending on where you are uh, may affect you and also we're going into leo season so we'll be looking into how that affects you as well in the meantime though if you resonate with this reading please do give a comment down below love to hear back from you and if you'd like a reading based on anything you hear here or um you know if you have a question that you'd like to ask me regardless all the information as to how to get a reading is down below in the description box thank you so much to everybody who has recently commented subscribed um left a little like or you know just got in touch with me thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it really does make my day and i'm so glad to be able to do these readings for you thank you i appreciate all of you in the meantime though let's get on to your reading hello beautiful leo welcome to your reading um i did start um i haven't seen these cards um so don't worry i did start and then Mercury must have a last hurrah or something and decided to go funny with the recording. Um, but just to explain a little bit, I'm going to shuffle these cards. We're going to have two for career, two for love and two for general overview. If you can hear scraps and scrabbles, it's because my cat's decided now it's playtime. They must know I'm doing it for Leo. Um, and I'm also going to have a look and see what's coming up for the new moon in Cancer, which is on the 19th or 20th of July depending on where you are um, and also this is going to be your leo season we're going into leo season now we're going into your area so this is all wonderful so let's just have a look and see what leo has to say next two weeks whoa okay so career looks good <laughs> another one for career please thank you and you just want to come through for love there we go <clears throat> and these what came out for a general overview I'll also be doing a rune, like I say, and some more cards. Um, but if you are Leo rising, the new moon in Cancer will be in your 12th house, which is normally the 12th house is to do with things that are unseen, um, faraway lands, kind of ascension. Also a little bit of health, hospitals, bit of bad luck sometimes. Um, but to be honest, because Cancer is the sign that's mostly associated with family and your roots and things like that, it could be that the moon is just heightening some kind of trying between these two areas for you. So you may feel like there is an enlightenment you have about what you would ideally do with your home life. And because also the moon represents your mother, you may also have some issues with your mother this month um, or mother figure or just being a mother or something like that. I also feel like with the new moon in this area, it could be somewhere that you make a commitment to yourself to enlightenment. It could also be that you are, you know, going into yourself a little bit more. However, with that said and done, um, let's go into your career. So if you see any scratches on my hand, this is what it takes to get a cat into the box ready to go to places. Um, so six of wands for your career and the nine of wands for your career. This is, um, okay. So yeah, okay, this is very good actually because it shows that you're fighting for the right things within your career here. I feel like it's been a struggle to get into a place where you feel comfortable. It may also be that you're struggling to cope with certain things because of the recent lockdown, etc. However, I see things actually improving. Um, the growth and your sort of self-confidence, your progress, you are being rewarded, you're being seen in the right light finally because so many leos i know have been sort of misunderstood in the workplace they have been just not really paid attention to enough not just saying oh leo craves attention because that's not how i 
see it here I see this is the skills that you have were not appreciated as much as they should have been and now you're getting into a place where they actually will be which is great. The nine of wands comes through for me with more of a fruition thing. So your resilience, your persistence is actually going to pay off and either you'll get this because you have paid off, because you have persisted, sorry, um, or you will persist and then get this later down the line. These are interchangeable. So you either have this to look forward to or you're getting this reward because of. And they're actually saying don't back down. Um, the place that you find yourself in over the next two weeks may be more power over your career you may have more understanding about choices that you need to make the directions you want to take where you want to go next how you want to present yourself because leos are very much i want to present myself as so there could be a particular aesthetic that you want to present yourself as or people easily see you as somebody who likes pastel colours or likes forestry or you know dresses like a very um I don't know crochet person with shawls and stuff it doesn't matter particularly all it means to me is that your career is coming out or leveling into a very strong perch shall we say you're coming into a very good area for you to kind of work on and work upwards so let's look at love and relationships here. Sorry if the light changes. Again, wonderful sunny British summer, I jest. Okay, sorry. Cass just had a little bit of an issue. So we have temperance and we have the seven of pentacles, which is really nice. So with these ones, it's more about balance and having to understand when to let some things go. Um, your health is very important. So if something within the relationship you know the health of the relationship needs attention we need to make sure that that's attended to um and also i feel like the seven of pentacles something's coming out of some really good strong faith work within the relationship your profits are now coming off and your vision investment in a relationship should be paying off as well one thing that i want to um point out that if you are single it feels like the work you have done on yourself the yoga or the healthy stuff that you've done on yourself the clearing the understanding the meditation that is now coming out off to balance as well because these are both about balance about having that understanding as to how much work you put in into how much you want to get out of something and also the profits that you may not even expect it this is now coming out to say look i'm happy where i am i'm happy either by myself or I'm happy in a couple partnership. And what's important as well is that the partnership does not change who you are. You're not a different person um, when you're with this partner than you are any other day of the week. You know, it's just something that feels like I am myself and I feel content being myself and I deserve love and the understanding that comes through. I do see for some of you this is a culmination of reparation. Um, so you're repairing something maybe some sort of issues that could have been enticed by an ex um you know you know issues that you saw in yourself that now you're going actually no that's not an issue at all that was just them you know you're seeing now i'm good i'm fine there's nothing wrong with me really if there was anything that needed to be worked on i've worked on it i've invested in myself i've balanced myself i don't need to do any more i'm coming up to a nice balance i'm now a nice combination between treating myself and indulgence and also being healthy you know it's just that kind of um nice flow you haven't gone and cannonballed into a relationship it's just a case of the flow is nice and i think the investment in yourself is going to pay dividends as you know the more you go on this month in the next two weeks so for the general overview you have the four of pentacles oh and the hangman in reverse so i always say with reversals this is not a negative thing it's just that the energies can sometimes be blocked however i think a period of suspension a period of self-sacrifice is now coming to a bit of an end however you need to recognize now is the perfect time to change now is the perfect time to re <laughs> kind of re-reverse it um so you've sacrificed a lot you have been alone a lot um you have probably gone through some stuff um and now it's time to move now it's time to continue on 
continue on your journey. But there's still some things that you're not sure about. You want stability, you want security. You're still locking away some really key aspects of yourself and really strong, good vibes about you. Um, it feels to me feels to me that your intuition needs to come out a little bit more um, because I do feel very much a lot of things you were having to decide is very heavy, um, ground-based, pentacle-based, um, not necessarily grand or anything like that and explore and do all this kind of stuff. So what I would recommend is for the entire, <clears throat> excuse me, for the entire reading, look at where you feel there's a bit of freedom ready to come through because I think here you're, you're kind of doing the same stuff because you feel like it's working and it is working but it's also now time to change it so it's almost like I've been working at picking a lock and the lock goes ping but you continue to pick the lock because it seems to be working yes it has worked now you can open the door to the next level this period of suspension is ending so can't carry on now you can carry on now um but it seems like you're still sitting on something, expecting something. Um, I would say just to see what happens if you let go of some of this worry or, you know, don't hide your potential here. Don't hide your worth here. Unlock something else. Unlock something about yourself. Let's have a see what this has to say for you. Oh, you have two. Both of them jumped into my hand. <laughs> oh, so you have Biko. Oh, well, I call it Biko, but it's not. <laughs> it's just easier for me to say. So this one is Bacano. And Bacano is basically birth and fertility, growth, new beginnings. So again, it's kind of saying now is the time to maybe birth something new. You can't just sit on it all the time. Maybe you've sat on the crest of ideas. You've sat on some... You know, the sun's just struggling to come through. Um, you've been sitting on something that you wanted to do for a while. Now is the time to let go of that. Now is the time to go, you know what, I'm going to try. I'm going to see what it's like. It could just be looking into it in the next two weeks. You don't have to commit to anything. It's just trying something new, trying something out, seeing how it works. Because this is actually giving you permission. Oh, and then you have to go out, which is kind of reverse so again this is about breakthrough and you know awakenings new beginnings new enterprises a lot of people have been having this actually in recent readings um so this is very much about having that understanding of when it is time to look into the light of dawn when it is time to see things change like recently you know if i've been going to bed late or even waking up at 4am it's light and it's so weird to hear the birds and see it being light and you know refreshing this is a reason why I love summer um but I think it's the same for you it's kind of like you're seeing things earlier now you're seeing start to seeing the light come a bit earlier you're starting to see the potential of something and I feel that this could in some ways be very scary but also I think that you should embrace it because it gives you license to explore it gives you a license and a reason to experiment and have a look and see what else is coming through for you because honestly I feel like the cards are asking you to I'm just going to pull one clarifier the cards are asking you to do something with your faith in yourself belief in yourself and trying to understand the potential as to where this can take you oh they don't want to come out come on one clarifier for leo oh, okay you this is aha okay two of wands this is mostly about progress and discovery and looking into your little crystal ball here the rest of the world awaits where is it you want to go is there something that you want to bring into the world is there something that you want to explore a little bit don't worry about well, this connotates this, and this means this, and blah, blah. Just see. Dip your toe. Dip your toe into the next two weeks and see what's coming through. So I'm just going to do an angel card for you now, Leo. Okay. Outdoors. Ooh. Go outdoors or outside. Get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. For some of you, I think that you do love the outdoors. You don't like to be cooped up whatsoever this is not something that you enjoy doing you don't enjoy um hang on here we go 
being inside too long. Um, you like fresh nature. Um, some of you have very hairy Taurus. Um, I don't know who that is, but just saying to get grounded in nature to get back out there, see what's coming through, have this sort of connection with outside if you can if it's possible if not just open a window if you can and just breathe in the fresh air meditate a little bit with that fresh air because sometimes we can get stagnant we can get used to a position and a presence so long that it becomes stagnant and we don't even realize it's like when you've painted a wall white and in comparison to the other wall even may you know you maybe did it three years ago wow <laughs> the difference is staggering it's like absolutely blinding white and then very stale white so it's kind of something that you just need to keep refreshing yourself bringing in the new energy and just understanding where you can go with it really and this will give you some ideas this will give you some awakening and also prove to you that you're worth going that extra mile for your self-confidence should be progressing very much so so that you can actually see things from a new point of view which you already have the ability to do but also to have this new awakening, have this breakthrough, the fertility of planting something new and seeing it grow. So I really do hope that this helped you, Leo, for the next two weeks. Let me know in the comments below if this did resonate with you. In the meantime, I wish you all the very best of luck. Take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you guys very, very soon.